sweet prince. When I sleep, I dream of you. Miss Castle, isn't the romance in your novels idealized? People are looking for courtship with chivalry and meaning. I'd like to introduce Prince Maximilian III, heir to Baldario. Your majesty. My brother needs your help to find love. You're not pretending to be a prince. I must wed before my 40th birthday, otherwise I will be forced to abdicate. A real prince wants me to play matchmaker. And I need you to help me. My friend will write a profile on your search for love. She will only report the truth. So said every journalist. Good luck with the swiping hotshot. Fine. I'm going to set you up with women who I select. Do you vow to protect women's honor? Of course. This is your earpiece. I'll be able to talk to you. Okay, connection, not just flirting. I am connecting. We've got to get you away from your title. I have a guest bedroom. So we're going on the run in your swanky Manhattan apartment. Thought I'd get a start on dinner. The Suez Canal. <laughs> Carry me over it. <laughs> These are eight Estonies. They didn't have the wow factor. Which is? A glance that stops your heart. <laughs> and I thought I was the romance writer. You're an intriguing character. My dear Leon, what dost thou know about my caged heart? You did not read my novel. Your stories could be better by being a bit messier. How are things going with you and Matt? You know, I can feel your stare. All I did was ask how things were going. What about your shoes? Gossip journalism. Max has not found love because he has not found the courage to listen to his own heart. Copy of Julia's new book. He shows her how to fence with a spoon and she's always holding out for the perfect night who never seems to come. You can't expect a prince to just march in. The ending in your new book, I decided to give it an in-the-moment rewrite.